Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name is Lisa. Make sure you subscribe to join our little family. Today I'm doing my updated All About My Tattoos video because I got eight tattoos a couple weeks ago. Everyone's been asking me, please do another video. And so here we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I wanna try to keep it kind of quick because I don't wanna talk about my tattoos for 20 minutes, y'all. Sorry if you hear any noises. My brother's in the bathroom and it's always kind of noisy um let's just ignore that i don't remember the exact order i got these in so i'm just gonna go from arms up let's start on my left arm number one out of eight is these two stripes on my pinky i will have close-up shots for you guys so you can see um this stands for equality and i already have a little love heart on my pinky so I really want to get the equality tattoo anyways because if you guys don't know, I'm bisexual, I'm gay, I'm a bug. <laughs> um, and so it just kind of stands for, you know, equality. Not even just equality for that, equality in general, you know, I'm also black, so like equality with the races. Fuck racism, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. It's a really cute tattoo and it just has a really beautiful meaning. And because I have a little love heart, I kind of see it as like love and equality. Let's see. I got concealer on my leggings and it looks like boo-boo, so that's cute. Okay, the next tattoo, oh my god, I love this one. I got these boobies on my arms and like on top of the nipples, there's like roses. I saw this on one of my friend's Instagrams, like she had posted it a while ago. I did not design this myself, but I cannot find the person who actually drew it. So if you know who made this, let me know because I want to be able to give them credit. I want to be able to let them know like, hey, I got your stuff tattooed on my arm, like your art but I literally cannot find who drew that. I've been looking for days. I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. I've been looking for days to see who made that, but I really cannot find it. So if you know, please, please let me know. Um, and yeah, but I got this on my arm and it's so beautiful. Oh wait, I forgot to talk about pain scale. So this one on my finger, I'd say was like a 2 out of 10. It was like so quick. It wasn't that painful. Or let me do it out of 5. It's easier. It was like a 1 out of 5. So then this one. Ooh, this one was kind of painful. I'd say it was like a 4 out of 5. Like it was painful. But I wasn't like dying yet. But like it was painful. It's just like really sensitive here. So this was definitely painful. It was worth it. And I love it for me. So then the other tattoo that I got on this arm. This tattoo means cute in Japanese. Which is kawaii. And um, I just thought it was really cute. I've been saying this so many times. Like, I want to learn how to speak Japanese. I want to be able to write in Japanese. But like, I don't know. I just think it's cute. Like kawaii. And I wanted something in Japanese on my arm. And in red ink. Because you guys know I love me some red ink. That one was definitely a 5 out of 5. It was so painful. And afterwards, that was one that was like the most sore. I don't know why. But that one was really painful. It really hurt, but I love it. I love it so much. I was like, I think it was also painful because it was just like uncomfortable when I was getting it done because I was like, my arm was like behind me and I felt like I kept like twitching because like, I don't know, I couldn't really support my arm in anything, but nonetheless, I love this little baby. On to the next arm. I got the first like finger tattoo of this hand, which is on my thumb. I do need to get it um, like fixed a little bit. But I'll go in like a couple weeks, I'll give them a call, be like, hey, can I come up to fix a tattoo? Because um, those like touch-ups are like free. So I need to touch it up a bit. But this is an A and it's for my mom. My mom's name is Annalise. So I wanted to get an A for her. And um, yeah, it's just really pretty. And um, I love it. And I obviously want to get these fingers done as well. But I've decided that I'm not going to get all my fingers at once anymore because the last time I did that, that was really painful. And I also just don't want to rush it. Like, I just want to get one each time I go in to get tattoos. Just get one. And the next time, get another one until my hand is done. So, yeah. So, I got that. And then I got this little baby, which I actually have to put it like this. It says strength. And oh, I love this so much. I just love the placement. I forgot to put on my bracelet. Wait, my arm looks cuter when I'm wearing a bracelet. Anyways, so um, yes, it says strength and it just stands for strength. Like be strong. I'm strong, stuff like that. Just thought it was really cute. And I just absolutely love the placement. Like I love just you being able to see it when I'm like talking with my hands and I'm like, 
I don't know, I just think it looks so cute and yeah. Um, paint skill of this one. Oh, my thumb hurt. Yeah, that one did hurt, but it was done so quickly. I'd say it was like a three and a half out of five, but fingers definitely are very sensitive. Like, actually, no, it was like a four out of five. Yeah, it hurt quite a bit. Um, this one wasn't too bad. I'd say like a three. Like, it did hurt, obviously, but I wasn't dying. So I'd say like a three out of five, two and a half, three out of five. Um, definitely. The next one I got is right here, and it says 1999 because that's when I was born. That's the year I was born in. Um, it's very small. Paint still like a two and a half, three out of five. It hurt again, but it wasn't crazy. Like, I wasn't dying. Um, I just love this one so much. And then I got a little star, which I found on Pinterest. I cannot remember who the artist was. I'm going to try to find it. There was just like, um... A lot of pictures of just like random small tattoos and I just saw this one and I loved it so it's like a star and it has a little eye with lashes and it doesn't have a huge meaning I just really like stars I like you know like lashes beauty it kind of stands for that but not really it was just a random tattoo because I do eventually just want to have like tattoos all over my arms like tiny tattoos so this was just kind of like my first piece that doesn't really have a huge meaning and that's just there to kind of fill it up so um Pain scale was probably like a two and a half out of five. It wasn't crazy painful. So now the last one is the one on my shoulder right here. It says Angel. I got this done um, just because I thought it was cute and like Angel is such a cute word. I'm not religious or anything, but I just think Angel is like a cute word. I like calling people angels. You're like, oh, I love you, Angel. Like, you're such an angel. And I don't think I'm an angel, but like, I don't know, I just thought it was cute and I like the placement a lot. It's just really small and dainty, but because of the like font that I used, it's still just like a little bit like grungy, I don't know. This one was quite painful. I'd say it was like a 4 out of 5, especially because I was just like sitting there like this and I kept like twitching with my shoulders. Like I had to really focus on staying still, but also breathing. So it was just a lot at once, um, but it was so small, like it was done really quickly. So those are all the eight tattoos that I got. Um, if you want to see what other tattoos I have, I've made a video before about all my other tattoos. So I'll link it down below for you to see that because uh, I'm not going to be talking about that in this video, obviously. And yeah, next time I'm going to get tattoos will probably be very soon because I already have like over 20 designs in my head that I want to get. So I'm really excited to get more and um, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with tattoos even though they hurt. Afterwards you're like, I want more. Like that's the thing with tattoos, a lot of people are always like, wait, I don't know if I should get it, like it's really painful and I'm like, girl, after you get it done, like yes it's, it hurts and it's going to be sore, but then like right after you get it done you're like, I want more. That is it. Thank you for watching. I never say that. <laughs> But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. And of course, subscribe. Also, turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I heard that they're going to like change your subscription feed. And, and it's not going to be like in chronological order anymore. And it's just going to like randomly show stuff. So if you don't want to miss any uploads by me, then definitely turn on your post notifications. Yeah, if you want to keep up with me besides my videos, I will have all my social media links down below. Come talk to me, tweet me, DM me because I love talking to you. Comment down below which one of the eight tattoos that I got is your favorite because I would love to know. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.